Brentford vs Man City, data analysis, team news and probable lineups, score analysis, Premier League, game week 23. Team news and probable lineups. Brentford's team news. Christian Norgard is sidelined due to an ankle injury, while Brian Mumo is also unavailable with an ankle issue. Yoan Wissa, Frank Onyeka, and Simon Gatos are on international duty. Additionally, Rico Henry is out for the season with a torn ACL, while Kevin Shada is dealing with an adductor problem. Aaron Hickey is sidelined with a hamstring injury, and Sergio Regalan is unable to play against his parent club. Man City's team news. Man City is currently fielding their strongest lineup for this match. Kevin De Brenna has fully recovered from previous weeks. Meanwhile, Erling Holland has also been brought on from the bench in the match against Burnley midweek. Man City also has no absentees due to players being called up for the Asian Cup and Afghan 2023. Overall, Pep Guardiola's squad depth is in excellent shape. They will pose a challenge to all Premier League teams in this extremely competitive period. Data analysis. Last season, Brentford FC emerged victorious in both encounters against Manchester City, winning 1-0 at home and 2-1 away. Currently, Manchester City holds a winning streak of three matches in the Premier League. Noteworthy statistics reveal that Brentford FC scores 28% of their goals between the 16th and 30th minutes, while Manchester City scores 23% of their goals between the 76th and 90th minutes. Moreover, Manchester City is on a winning streak of 7 matches and remains unbeaten in their last 10 games. They also boast a winning streak of 5 matches away from home. However, Brentford FC failed to score in 1 out of their 11 home matches in the Premier League this season, while Manchester City couldn't score in 2 out of their 11 away matches. Brian Mumo leads as Brentford FC's top scorer with 7 goals, while Erling Holland has scored 14 times for Manchester City. Defensively, Christian Norgard has received the most yellow cards, 7, among Brentford FC players, while Rodri has collected 7 for Manchester City. In terms of recent performances, Brentford FC has conceded a goal in each of their last 12 matches but has managed to score at least one goal in six consecutive matches. Similarly, Manchester City has scored at least one goal in their last 10 consecutive matches. In terms of half-time performance, Brentford FC wins the first half in 25% of their matches, while Manchester City leads in 56% of their matches. The winner of their last meeting was Brentford FC, who secured victory by a one-goal margin. Notably, when Brentford FC leads 1-0 at home, they win in 46% of their matches, while Manchester City wins in 77% of their matches when leading 0-1 away. Comparatively, in the Premier League, Manchester City has demonstrated better performance than Brentford FC. Manchester City's performance in the last five matches also surpasses that of Brentford FC's. In their recent four meetings, both teams have won two matches each, with no draws. On average, Brentford FC scores 0.75 goals in a match against Manchester City, while Manchester City scores one goal against Brentford FC. The average number of goals in meetings between the two teams is 1.75, with an average of one goal scored in the first half. Brentford FC tends to score 1.38 goals when playing at home, whereas Manchester City scores two. Score analysis.
Based on the analysis of their current form and individual player statistics, the most likely outcome of this match is a victory for Brentford with a probability of 20.79%. The odds of Manchester City winning stand at 57.56%, while a draw is also plausible with a probability of 21.64%. The most probable scoreline for a Manchester City victory is 2-1 with a likelihood of 9.91%. Following closely are scores of 1-0, 9.12%, and 2-0, 8.99%. For Brentford, their most probable winning scoreline is 2-1, 5.54%, whereas a draw is most likely to end 1-1, 10.04%.